Hello. Welcome to an episode of Going to Weird Places and Opening Stupid Things. You may have been able to tell that we're not actually in a weird place. I mean, my house is kind of very, very weird, but this is obviously not where we're opening. Um, this is a special video, as I'm sure you're aware, I mentioned I was going on holiday to a convention, and I went on holiday to a convention and did a video there. It's not quite as I had hoped, uh, because I was busy as all hell, so I'm going to throw in some random convention footage as well, as well as some links to events that I hosted that have actually appeared online if you want to see what kind of moronic stuff I get up to. So yes, welcome to another episode of Going to Stupid Places and Opening, or Going to Weird Places. I know my lines, honest. That's a, I tell you, that's a bloody trend for the moment, that is. Going to weird places and opening stupid things. I hope you enjoy this furry, oh dear, convention special. Gosh, isn't it? Big pop. Woo! Hello, I'm your budget host, Ekron, and welcome to a very budgety and strange version of Would I Lie to You? The game show where you intentionally make the truth sound quite lie and lies fairly truthful. In this game, our contestants will be given envelopes that are sitting in front of them. Yes, they are. We actually put them on Woo! this time. Mm. Got an envelope. Inside these envelopes are statements. These statements include, well, it's a statement, which may be a truth that our tame production otter was able to pull out of them on a dark and cold <laughs> night somewhere, probably in London. Or it could be a horrible, horrendous... Hello, and welcome to another episode, and a fairly special one, of going to weird places and opening stupid things. Now, I know we didn't have a video last week, and that was because I was preparing to come here, which is obviously going to be the video for this week, because I am here today at, um, well, come puzzled. Now, some of you may know that I am a, um, a furry. I have no shame in admitting that. If you don't like that, the unsubscribe button's right there. That's absolutely fine. I have no opinion on anything, really. Um, and Confuzzled is one of the largest conventions of this kind in the United Kingdom. If not, it is the largest. Uh, we're here on the early arrival today, and I will be going over various little bits and pieces that uh, some I brought from home. Couldn't bring the actual item I wanted to use at home because I didn't have enough room in the car. Seriously, look at these photos. Yeah. Yeah, I really couldn't fit it in. So we brought a couple of um, small things that we can do in different places. Also things that I'm not bothered if they get lost or anything along those lines. But um, conveniently, when you check in, as I work for the crew, we get uh, these lovely, lovely sponsor bags and things like that. So um, I never actually bothered to look up what we get inside these things. So I don't actually know. So it seems like a good idea because we are in a weird place and we are opening stupid things. So... Um, uh, we're also going to do it in this view to start with because um, they're quite large and I see no reason not to do it. And obviously this video will be taking place over the course of multiple days of the con. I've only got two other things really to kind of unbag on box, but you can expect this video to be somewhat longer because of that. And I may also acquire things along the way to look at. Basically consider this a bit of a weird con video and an apology for not having a video last week. So without further ado, let's uh, just kind of empty this out here and see the plethora of stuff that comes falling out. Earbuds, fairly normal stuff. Com book, going to have to study that at some point, but not right now. Uh, oh, this thing. Uh, I saw somebody fiddling with one of these in registration. Uh, it's uh, it is a cube with various many images of artwork done for the convention. And uh, oh, there we go. It sort of folds to and from. Just around and around and around. And this is far more complicated than it needs to be. I've done this wrong, haven't I? Hmm. And then you fold it that way and it's uh, folded around. And then you fold it back and around and down. There we go. Wow. I am such a child. But hey, why not? It's a fun little thing that I will never use again as long as I live. Hmm. Also these don't fit there yeah. oh well so we got that that's a nice little thing i suppose sponsor on great uh we've got a nice little notebook here with the uh, sticky notes what looks like a tiny pen on the inside that's going to be incredibly difficult to get out without some filling there we go tiny little pen little notepad you can tear out there this would have been useful for um something else as i'm, I'm running a couple of events 
and one of them requires, well, two of them required notebooks uh, for me to take notes in. So that would have actually been very, very useful had I known that beforehand and not used a prop that I used in the theatre, uh, which is in another bag. I hope I have not left that behind because it has all my notes in it, and that would be very, very bad. Okay, we now have a selection of magnetic words and phrases, things, uh, all conveniently cut out. Furry of groovy, what in cookie, drool he drink, cute she they, agent or I it as for a secret, your lie you special convention, a woo, perp or them, we how might do, are my wet to a woo, and will astute have badger, not and meme, sausage please or wiggle, ponder s lee, ed populus, is come up and <laughs> I think I'm allergic to these. Ing up the who of no question mark has at in brush. That's what it spells out in one go. Or you could break it down and attach it to things to actually make a sentence that makes sense. I will not be doing that. Um, this is a piece of paper in relation to an event I'm running. We have a mini pocket guide, not important. Sweets, they give you these every year. Um, they're cheap and nasty and I will probably eat them after I've done this. Uh, the sponsor lanyard, as I'm a sponsor, I'm also crew, so I get a yellow lanyard. Aren't I lucky? So I won't be wearing that at all. A pen? That does not work. Okay, so I'm assuming this was meant to be a pen. Oh wait, hang on. Pull the tab. Yes, there we go. Oh, it's an inf it's an infrared pen. So uh, they're running a thing this year where you, uh, it's not even a pen, it's just an infrared torch, where you go around and solve clues and stuff and obviously they've handed you an infrared thing so you can find all the stains on your hotel room and uh, hope that there's none exactly where your head's going to be laying. Nope, there's none there, thank goodness for that. Kind of useful, I always wanted one of those. I have no idea what this is, it's in a box. So let's crack on, it looks like it's a canister. Yes, they gave us one of these last year, a slightly different one. Um, ah, it's one of the drinking ones because hydration is a very important thing. Yep, can't fault it, it's a drinking canister for hydration. Uh, I work the con, so that will actually be really useful for me. I will make good use of that, don't worry. Um, yeah, no, that's good quality stuff. It's also got the uh, Brock the Badger, as his design is this year. Hooray, I don't know where it is on camera. Right, and we now move on to, oh wait, no. Got the uh, little car sticker. Got one of those every year. I don't drive. Um, mission briefing, open urgently. Oh, this is uh, for the, I said they're running an event this year uh, about finding clues and stuff. I assume that's what this is. Uh, Gambit. Yes, this is all decoder stuff. So I'm not going to do this because this is something that would probably require a video in itself. And truthfully, I have no interest in it. It's a uh, it's basic decoder with bits and pieces. Nothing too exciting. Oh, very nice. Miss this. We have a lovely Brock the Badger, who is the sponsor, the mascot rather, of Confuzzled. Nice little pin. Uh, I collect pin badges. I will put a photograph of the ones I have now. See, the magic, you don't even have to get rid of my voice. Uh, God, I certainly hope I'm gonna edit this before I put it up. It'd be really weird if it's just me talking crap. It's always me talking crap. Let's start with this one. It is a plastic bag. Um, it has sea creatures on it and oil and gold and bones and things. And it's actually quite nice. Uh, it's sealed. I don't know what this is. One of these is gonna be a t-shirt, I'm sure. The other one is a complete, not a mystery. So yes, here we go. This is the con t-shirt this year. I haven't seen this design yet. Ooh. I have seen this design. <laughs> the perks of being crew member. So a con t-shirt, you've got Brock the Badger and a sneaky looking weasel looking very sneaky through a newspaper. How terrifying. I will probably wear that at some point, maybe when I'm doing the rest of the videos. It's actually quite a nice con t-shirt compared to some of the other ones we've had which haven't been so good. That does make you wonder what this is. Um, it also says plastic sucks because plastic sucks. You may notice I'm going through this quickly because running my mind I've got quite a lot of videos to make in one go and it appears to be a jumper. It is another hoodie. I was not expecting that. Last year they gave us a hoodie um, which was nice. I was not expecting a hoodie this year. So it's a standard brown hoodie, uh, brownie red. It's got Rock the Badger doing his badgery type thing as per the normal and it has a hood and it's so warm I can guarantee you I won't be wearing it. So yes, that's everything that comes in the sponsor package. Quite nice bits and pieces, to be fair. One of the uh, the better years. Um, I still have some of the things from previous years literally in their boxes, never used. Although they were very nice. 
Um, there is the tiny chance that there might be a super sponsor to show, that very much depends on uh, circumstances, but I wouldn't get my own hopes up. So yes, that's that. Um, as the con progresses, we'll see bits and pieces, as I said. Don't worry, I have some of the, uh, the, the normal content to go through. Don't worry about that. There's two bags of that. Uh, I actually have a set as well that will probably be next week's video now to do, which is an airport set. Uh, not saying anything else on that one yet, though, but uh, that'll probably be next week because I was going to do that here, but I couldn't fit it in the car, which is a real shame because I would have liked to have done that with some people I know. But anyway, yes, um, I'll see you in the next part of the video, I guess. Trans rights. Hmm? Trans rights. Ta da. Oh, trans. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sorry, I'm completely out of sync with everything today because it's really busy. And now we're running around like this. <laughs> we might as well have a quick look at the hotel room whilst we're here and you can hear the wonderful acoustics. Uh, I did go to record this and then realized my dress was left in there. We've got a box of golden joysticks because once again, we're running Games Master at this convention. That's going to be fun. That's a suitcase full of my things, a laminator and other bits and pieces. There's that lanyard I was talking about. Mm, selfie stick. I'm not vain. We have a lovely supply of con food because conventions require the best fuel available. Um, my roommate's fursuit, suit, which was mine, but now is his. His thing as well. We've also got uh, underneath the sponsor stuff that I've just discarded here, a uh, leaf blower, which is going to be very, very useful. Oh, there I am being a fur faggot. Mmm. Mmm, that's really not related to my work at all, and a Bible as well. Uh, Ekron's there. Oh, that's Ekron in the suitcase. So yeah, that's the room, more or less. Um, I don't think we'll be having any more videos in here, but if we do, well, that just means that it was a massive failure and I really should have gone somewhere else. Oh yeah, Hilton bathroom. Hello. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, because if you do that, then I'll probably keep making these awful videos for you. Although, probably not here. Oh, God, I know. Please don't headbutt each other. It hurts quite a lot, even with all that lovely padding. Please don't. And so we're going to get, like, in the midst of you, but, like, far from each other. Well, you are. I'm staying up here safe. Staying up there. Are you recording this? Of course I am. I have to do something at this con that's con-like. So we're going to get some music going. And then we're going to throw these up in the air and you all have to scramble to try and catch one. When you catch one, just get up on stage or as close to stage as you can get. Okay? Let's do it. And here we go. They're all scrambling for pieces of paper that have got coffee stains on them. Look at these fursuits. No, nope, we got one. We've got the first person coming up. You got one? Great. Great. Any yeah. couple of people looking at them when they pick them up? No, no, look at them. You just got to grab one and come on stage. You just got to grab one and get on stage. No looking at them. No looking at them. You just grab and get on stage. Grabby stagey. Oh, that's my face. Isn't that wonderful? Stagey grabby. Stagey grabby. You got one. Great. You got one. On stage. Look, there's another one on here. Follow me. That's it. Just grab it. Wow. Don't look at them, don't look at them, just get on. Oh, I've got you on camera cheating. I've got you on camera cheating. I can't get into it. Uh, You're not supposed to, you've got to wait till you're on stage. Alright, well, let's start reading them out. Hey, you did not win. Hooray! 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 It's what this one is. You did not win. Predictable. You did not win. Oh dear. You did not win. Words. You did not win. Your luck is awful. You did not win. This, this is not a raffle. raffle. That was impressive. <laughs> did you get? <laughs> you did not. You did not win. You, you got Damien's face. face. That's a prize. You did not win. <laughs> what did you get? First prize. Yeah. First prize. Hooray! Yeah. You win. You actually get something. You, you do. do. Now don't drop them because. What have you got? What have you got? Win something.
Behave, G-Shep, let him go. Oh dear, we've gone from one side of the room to the other side of the room. Yes, this convention turned out to be a lot busier than I expected it to be, so unfortunately we're just going to have a cup of milk, stare into the face of something I spent way too much money on, but I have no regrets, and look at the rest of the things we're doing. Hi, I'm Ekron, you've probably been bombarded with various uh, videos and photographs in between of things going on at the con. You're probably thinking, what a weird loser, and yes, I am a weird loser. Now. I wanted to do what's in here in the lobby. These are all toy cars, stupid, opening stupid things in weird places. You know how it is. They're all toy cars, um, but I'm running an event. The last one that I have to run, and trust me, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, editing comes later. I may well set up a GoPro and see if we can get some recording done so we can actually have some of these epic duels recorded on camera and used so you can see some example of what we're playing. We're playing Super Fight. But besides that, we will be offering convention-based awards, because I am crew, so I have access to those, uh, though they are given as part of the events. And I am also going to offer them some things in here. So for prizes, they can win. How about uh, Lightning McQueen on a very hefty and actually pretty damn nice toy car? Um, lots of detail on this one. It is... McQueen from that famous, but we nobody knows why, series of toy car movies. Obviously used and play with. He's obviously been upside down. Uh, Mattel, I believe he is. It's up, there it is at the bottom. It's Mattel. Uh, Disney Pixar made in China. Mm, with a thing there. Delicious. But yeah, these are all prizes that are available for offer. Here's one of the ones that we get. We get a lot of these. This is obviously the blue racing car. Uh, Hot Wheels from McDonald's, by the looks of it. Um, I haven't looked at these. I literally just took them out of the bags they were in and put them in one big bag. So I just want to go through them before I use for the event, because that's in like an hour. I'm really good at timing things. I've been so busy with this car. It's completely unreal. Uh, but the nice thing about this one, being a Hot Wheels one, is it does actually have its stickers on. 
And if it's Aquamove were in better condition, I would actually keep this one for myself. But this one is up for offer and availability to steal. Next one is Stunt Team, which has a very cheap plastic feel, actually. Um, I believe most of these are Hot Wheels. In fact, I think almost all of them are kind of Hot Wheels, Mattel type thing. This feels cheap. I'm at a weird angle as well. I'm like kind of staring at the camera from a weird way, which is why it would sound different. Um, this is a Mattel. This is 2003 Asphalt Assault, made in Thailand. So it's supposed to be some kind of drafty, draggy, woo-woo car. Well, I suppose on the glass surface they do uh, spin quite nicely. Spin, slide. There you go. Queen can have the milk. This is a much more rushed episode than I was hoping. But what can you say? Now, this feels like a nice, sturdy car. Much more sturdy than that. And I, uh, it's logoized as well. So it's, you know, based on a real car with actual logos because it's Honda. So I'm going to guess this is going to be not real toy. Oh, it's been a while since I've done one of these. All right, let's ruin it. Let's have a look. We have a Honda 60. 82,156. It's real toy. I was going to say real toy. Damn it. Well, that's real toy. And what can you say? That is the real toy. Well, hey. How about we move back to what is obviously a Hot Wheels. I quite like this one. It's speed with the D mostly missing. Worn. The axles are rusted. Means it's had a good play life. I mean, that's actually very much rusted. Um, very, very rusty. It's had a good play life. It's probably been in the bath or puddles and not clean. Or maybe it had juice spilled on it, although it's not sticky. Speed Hunters. Hunt the speed with your light. Now, I say that Hot Wheels don't often get logoing, but there's a logo there. Is that a Dodge? Let's see. It is Mattel. Um, made in Malaysia. Yeah, it's a Dodge Viper. So they do have Dodge logoing. So that goes to show what I know. There you go. There is a Dodge. I wonder which ones of these are going to be claimed as prizes. I honestly don't know. I ah, maybe we'll have a compilation at the end of prizes claimed. They don't get to see them. They just put their hand in the bag and pull one out. Is how it's going to go. How about Safari? Mm, actually, that doesn't. That all things considered, that doesn't roll too bad. That's actually kind of nice. It does feel very cheap. It's obviously got your uh, typical chromey type effect. Uh, literally just made in China. But at least they put detail in the bottom. It's like they knew they had to do it. Oh, you can see the room. Hello. Oh, hello. There I am. Woo. Um, oh, and there's my phone. No, you might see the IMEA, and that would be bad. Safari. Well, there are worse toy cars out there, I'm sure. We're running out of space already because we're on the bloody desk, and I hope that fan's not too low. I hope somebody takes this. Right. Bone. It's like a skull. It's like Thanos. And with beads of a place I'm not going to mention because I'll probably get demonetized even though I'm not demonetized already. This is a... Hot Wheels, Rocket Fire, that's not really showing very well. That's weird, that's very non-detailed, but I can't see it being old, because just look at it. I mean, that's plastic, if that was a sort of 80s, I'd expect that to be made of a metal, like um, the Stag Beetle one that we had. That's just not nice, do not like. Oh, but we have a tractor. Ba -ba 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 -da 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 -da. Listen to it. Sounds good on this glass surface, isn't it? Well, I should do more videos on glass surfaces. Uh, uh, it's made in China. Oh, it's a Siku. Siku make very good models, but I never come across many of them in these blind bags because they just don't seem to be that popular. Siku 2009. I don't know. I'm going to pull that to my face. It's a sleeper ombre. Sleeper ombre. Poor fash. It's a tracker. Ice tractor. East tractor, east tractor, tractor, tractor. Chill milk. This is meant to be a milk float. Now, if you consider this as a milk float compared to the milk float that we got in the Dinky Toys uh, when we did that A Week of Dinky Toy reproductions, um, I think that's nice. Uh, although, this, just to be fair, this is actually kind of nice. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, let's have a look. Come on, focus, focus. 2015 Mattel. Yeah, that's one of their newer ones. It's all right. There's nothing wrong with it if you're into that sort of rushy thing. I have a school bus, which you've seen in the crisscross crash, which is basically uh, the same sort of design, where it's just an, a completely overdone public transport-based vehicle. Nothing exciting. Much like this very standard sort of four-wheel drive thing with no windows. Don't I recognize the wheel design. BMW, I'm going to get... Yeah, that's a BMW. You can tell that the front is... Uh, 
the front's mold. Come on. The front's molded in that known grill and it's got the round bit, but they obviously didn't have any kind of licensing. Uh, they do have BMX, a BMX X5 China. 8025, 6025 rather. Yeah, literally nothing to say or do there. Mmm, delicious. Delicious. Hot Wheels car. Gotta be new. Very, very low ground clearance. Like, look how close that is. That's, that's possibly... Yeah, that's an incredibly low ground clearance. Well, anyway, I suppose it's designed to be that way, so it seeks to the bottom some kind of drift racer, maybe. Now, looking in there, it does have Hot Wheels imprinted on those metal bits, which is nice. A little attention to detail. It's a shame there's no kind of grilling in there. It's just a big open space. Uh, but the base bit is actually kind of nice. Made in Thailand. An MST Suzuku. Or Suzuka. Suzuku? Suzuka. 2000, though. I quite like that. I think I'm going to pull one of these out and keep it for myself. That's quite a nice one. And I, I thought it was later than it was, but it wasn't. Here's an ambulance. It had an accident. It is Santa something S-U-A-S. S-U-A-S. Yeah, that's very, very warm. But it's an ambulance. I've got a couple of um, ambulances. They're the old um, Hot Wheels ones. Let's have a look. What do we have? 2009 Mattel made in Thailand a Ford E350 ambulance 2009 model um, I think this is the base they use in Gary's model or Gary's, Gary's model servers use the same ambulance and I think it's this one no frets there I have no words well that's pretty obvious it's some kind of knockoff look it's it's got holes in the bottom where the seats should be so when people are sitting their feet are on the floor so this is powered like the Flintstones and look they've got actual screws in holding the car they're not um, uh, rivets which is what they normally use they're screws so this this is the second car today actually that's used screws because there's another one in here which one was it uh, I, oh, I think there's another one that uses screws I don't remember huh maybe it's just that one that uses screws um, I'm sure there's another one that has screws. Maybe I'm going mad. It has been a very long con, and I've been incredibly busy. Um, that's what happens when you volunteer for cons. Now, we're reaching the 10-minute mark, which means this video is going to be at least 20 minutes, because we had 10 minutes on the con stuff beforehand. So I'm going to grab everything out, and we're going to very quickly go through everything. So first, we've got this. Um, I really like this car design. I don't know why, but unfortunately, this wheel is absolutely buggered, which makes it useless to run, I think, uh, 9 1999. Yes, it's actually easier to see that on the camera. Hot Wheels. So that's the oldest one that we got going currently. Then there's this one. Uh, G Ready Toyo Tires. This seems very similar to that one that I pulled out of the sea. It's kind of a racing one. I like it. Uh, 2015. It's a 96 Nissan 180 SX Type X. X for excellent. And then we got this one. Toxic. 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 And it's going to go toxic because it's green. Toxic, 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 toxic. What is it actually called? Phantasm. It's actually called Phantasm, and it is C18 TM Hot Wheels Thailand. It's another one that doesn't seem to have a date, unless I'm missing it. Let me just pull that to my face quick. No, it's dateless. Don't know why. Don't like the design of that at all. We have another one. Uh, yeah, they are, they're, they're the same car design. Uh, what's this one called? Made in Malaysia. 198, made in Malaysia. This one just doesn't have a name. Nasty. Nasty and cheap. Do I, I just, I don't like these neon ones. You watch. I'll put this up and Bob will be like, I want to have 200 quid. Don't get rid of it. I don't think you sound like that, Bob. And I don't think you're a fake car like this one. So, yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. There's another one with screws. Hang, hang on. Hang on, I know we're rushing through here, but um, look where the screws are in correlation to each other. They're both at the top. They're both using the same kind of screws. They both use weird wheel designs. Same company. Uh, and now you can know who they are. Does this count as doxing? I don't think so. They're from Basildon. White House Basildon SS143BX UK. I'm going to guess that's Sussex. Two cars left to look at. Let's do this one first because it's a police car. I'm really good at this. Can you tell what happens when I'm rushing? Just all these things go by and you have no idea what's going on. 2010 Mattel. A Ford Police Interceptor. Nice. Nice. 
There are much worse cars. And finally, finally, there's this hippie mobile. Um, this old hippie mobile that's missing a door used to deliver packages when you're working for DHL or Amazon or some other delivery company. Hot Wheels again. It made them Malaysia. Once again, no date. That's very really cool. That's a couple without dates, but that's all of them. These are the prizes that are available. We shouldn't need more than this. We also, as I said, have convention-based things, which should be fun. I'm now going to um, pick one out that I'm going to keep. Ooh, which one should I keep? I think I'm going to keep this one, actually, because it's in very nice. And e, I don't think I've got any that are of this design where it's so close to the damn floor. I've got the convertible, but I ain't got the floor racer. So I'm keeping that one. That's mine. Oh, it even rolls great. Oh, my goodness. That's mine. These are all prizes. I will try and set a video up that records the game. We'll see what happens. And I will see you on the other time. This might be the last thing I do because that was everything I brought. I did have something else, but uh, I couldn't get it in the car. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah. I'm an adult.